A day that ended for Donald Trump in the company of Queen Elizabeth II had begun under a cloud of official British dismay at the US president's comments in a newspaper interview. For two countries that supposedly enjoy a special relationship, this was no way to treat a friend. Donald Trump had told the right-wing Sun newspaper that Theresa May's plan for leaving the European Union was a bad one and that a trade deal between the US and the UK was off the table. He also said Theresa May's nemesis, Boris Johnson, would make a great Prime Minister. Johnson resigned this week as Foreign Secretary over her new Brexit strategy. And with that, the pin was pulled on a diplomatic hand grenade, what looked like a deliberate attack on May's already fragile leadership. And then a massive about turn. In face-to-face -face meetings, Theresa May, we're told, had a chance to explain her plans more fully to Donald Trump. It must all have made sense. Once the Brexit process is concluded, and perhaps the UK has left the EU, I don't know what they're going to do, but whatever you do is OK with me. That's your decision. <laughs> whatever you're going to do is OK with us. Just make sure we can trade together. That's all that matters. If Theresa May was relieved, she didn't show it. There will be no limit to the possibility of us doing trade deals around the rest of the world once we leave the European Union on the basis of the agreement that, I, that was made here at Chequers and that I've put forward to the European Union. And off the Trumps went to meet the Queen. By the time they arrived here at Windsor Castle for tea with the Queen, it seemed the whole furore had passed. A visiting US president had gone from issuing unprecedented insults to a British prime minister to having it all swept away in a little over 12 hours. Mr Trump simply dismissed an official on-the-record British newspaper interview as fake news. Not that tea with the Queen wasn't itself a potential protocol minefield. But the band played on and the event appears to have passed without incident. A big fan of the British monarch, this perhaps the highlight of Trump's visit so far. For the Queen, who's met a dozen US presidents, the occasion perhaps less unforgettable. Jonah Hull, Al Jazeera, Windsor.